You know what I want to do? Because we didn't, we haven't used this yet. You and I are going to play Jenga as we do the interview. Thank you. Yeah. I you, am honored. Do you want to gamble? Yeah. Because I'm not good at Jenga, but I'm not bad. Like, yeah. I haven't played enough. I didn't bring any cash, but. That's I, all right. We have Venmo. Yeah. 20 right. bucks? Yeah. Sure. Here's the thing about Ryan and I. If you can, how about we do, how about we do. I'll put it here. How many is that? How many, what do you mean? You, you know, how, you can look we at can this. We can do per. He's an expert no, in I'm Jenga. Not. We can go per uh, block. What, what do you mean? We can just go 20 bucks all in. 20 bucks all in. All right. And I'll ask you questions as we play. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll go first because I'm the guest. All right, go ahead. I haven't played Gen Jenga in a while. Oh, you're a pusher. Is it always pushing? You can tell how terrible I am at Jenga. It's pushing. Oh, I mean, that's the easiest one. First is always. Come on. Um, your son turned one years old today. He's one today, yeah. Yet you're here. Yeah. Is that because he went to sleep or because you're um, a father that leaves his baby? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel bad about it till that moment. <laughs> I, he had his birthday party on Saturday, so today was like, hey, happy birthday, but we already kind of did all the stuff, so. Does a one-year-old know what's going on? Absolutely not, and he had never had sugar before. Before when? Saturday. Wow. But like, you know, you would never feed a kid like a piece of cake, right? I mean, it's things you learn when you actually have a kid. Um, like, they don't eat cake until, there's, and there's, oh my gosh, and there's no reason to feed them a, like a piece of cake. So he just went into like, it was like jet fuel. Did he like it? Yeah, he loved it. He had a great time. Uh, he loved the attention. So he's been a, a quarantine baby, right? COVID baby. Yeah. So he has no friends <laughs> and mm. he has one cousin that he can hang out with, but basically like he never gets any attention. So he is, he ate it up, man. It was fun to see like the lights come on. So what, when does the baby start to remember stuff? Like, I don't know. He's I mean, not going to remember his first birthday party. So that was right. basically for you guys. So we didn't really get him. Like everyone got him. Like we had our families come over and they all got on these gifts and stuff. And I was like, ah, man, I hope my gift I got at the last second shows up in time. Well, but again, if it but, didn't, who cares? Tell him his birthday. Tell him. Yeah, it's, that's for us. I got yeah. him like some like little wooden golf clubs that he just took the, like the golf ball and put it in his mouth. And that was it. You so. got him a new headset for call of duty. <laughs> that's it is weird man the kids they just grab at your phone constantly so you have to be constantly taking the phone away oh that's a close one that yeah that was that was iffy you're six foot three six three your wife is five, five foot one one it's a weird but she fits kind of right in the pocket that's the way i describe it so how does that affect your daily life though because i would think there are certain things that only you can do and some things you can't do at all because you're so big <laughs> i'm not like i'm not manute bowl but can Okay, but compared to her, she's quite small, I would, which is convenient at times. Yeah, uh, I think it affects like people. Like I can reach everything in the cupboards, right? Oh no, but she can't. So I think it affects her more than it affects me. Okay, let's see here. This is thrilling. Well, internet no, it, television. No, it is. This is internet television at its finest. You might. Oh, we're no, getting to it, and this is going to be really loud for those watching at home or on your devices. You, are you, we got close up to this board in case we need it. We do. I don't, it's, if I'm pulling it halfway out, am I committed to it? No, I don't care. I mean, what's the rule? What's the official Jenga rule? I mean, the official Jenga rule? I think it. That's not how you play Jenga. Put pieces back on top. Oh, Caitlin came running oh, over. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, this is this. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're supposed Did to. Did you know that, Caitlin? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's stack them up. Go ahead, stack them up. Okay. We thought you just take it all out, and then that would be lame if we just took it all down. I know it's it my fault. I started me. first. Uh, okay. Do yeah. I do? We'll be okay. I think this is the one that's going to get sticky right here. If you could take back a song that you had written for an artist that, that was a massive one, because you have a bunch of hits. Okay. Um, just from my mind here, uh, you did Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset for Luke Bryan. Yeah. Uh, Lady Annabellum, you had a big hit with uh, down, Bartend. Which one? What If I Never Get Over You was mine. Wait, what? What? No, the wait. last, the one, uh, the first one off the last record. Was what mine. if I never get over? Okay. Yeah, I wrote that. Um, what else you have the hit? Uh, my other number one, I have three number ones as a writer. Um, you can do it. Lonely Tonight with Blake was my first one. Boom. If you could take one of those back, what would you do? I, I think the one I would, that would make most sense is uh, You Look Good, which is like a number. That's the one from Lady I was talking about. Number two. So that's Are the you one that, kidding me? That's the one I'd probably... It got to number two? Yeah. And not number one? Those things happen. It's kind of a rite of passage as a songwriter to have a number two song. Dang. Not a number two song, but I write plenty of those. But uh, So that'd be the one you, you'd I think that, cut again? That's probably the one that makes most sense. I, Sunrise, actually, I, I really like my version of Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset, too, because it feels like I wrote it kind of about like being in Michigan. and it's a, To me, it's a very northern song, and... 
like I, I, I love writing country music for people in the Midwest and uh, cause it's just a massive, there's so many people that love it up there and we always write about Georgia, I feel like down here. So who else it, represents the Midwest? Uh, well, from my hometown in Kalamazoo, Michigan, it's like me and Frankie Ballard, a guy named Kyle Jennings from like a few years ago. Uh, obviously Bob Seger, Kid Rock. Country then, music wise but, in Nashville uh, now. I mean, there's guys, I mean, who's from Ohio? I think there's some Ohio. Rascal Flats. Rascal oh. Flats is Ohio. Um, who, who else? Hey, you're taking your eye off the prize here, bud. I need that 20 bucks. Sorry. Yeah, Excuse exactly. Me. How far down am I allowed to go? No idea. I, I didn't know we were doing the- Caitlin, sorry. Yeah, Caitlin comes in with the rule book. We've now oh, been penalized. Was, that was a, that was. Have you ever See, revealed anything in an interview about your wife that she was like, hey, why? Because sometimes I say stupid stuff. In yeah. And she's like, like what? I was like, why? Caitlin said, like, why did you say that in an interview? And I'm like, I wasn't thinking. Well, I'll tell you what she did. Uh, she told everyone our wedding date on the red carpet once and I wasn't there. And I was like, that, that's kind of something you don't, you don't like spill the beans on unless I'm like standing there with you. And, uh, but I didn't care that much. Yeah. I, I don't, other know. than that, I don't have a play here, man. It might be my, it might be 20 bucks to me. Everything I grab. Oh, no. Yeah. Every single s Hey, can we get a ruling on how far, how many yeah, how down here allowed go down, to go? Guys? They're 20 seconds. I think they're like 20 seconds behind. Okay, wait. No, oh, but I'm going to push it over. At some point, you got to make it, you got to make it, you got to commit. Are you stopping at one kid? I <laughs> think so. Ask him as I'm trying to figure it out. I, I think so. I, it's a, I mean, I, Marin loves to tour and loves to work and, our kid is awesome and he's really easy and we don't feel like at this point a huge need to add to this i think three is perfect but oh sucker <sighs> look at but, that so you know you never know I, they say that you, you want three kids that what i heard you say absolutely not oh. i said uh the three of us it feels like it feels pretty good right now so um we have a, another game. I don't. I don't feel like I need. I don't. At this point, we're we're one and done. But that could always change. I think everyone says that. After oh, come one. on, fall. No, 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 no. So we have a game for you. We're gonna play out loud here. Okay. We have three baby cries. One of them. Can you name your baby crying? That's what we're gonna call it. I think so. But do you have actual? Yeah. We audio have, of this. Can this you is... name your baby crying? Ready? Here's baby cry number one. <laughs> That's enough. There you no. go. Here's baby cry number two. That's enough? That's it. Hold on. Let's hear number three. Okay. Two. We, two. Am I right? We're going to play. Well, no, don't ask him. He's the sound guy. And he also. I think two. I'm too, pretty sure it's two. Everybody has nine jobs on this show. Gotcha. The game is called Can You Identify Your Baby Crying? I'm pretty sure it's two. Okay. The answer is none of them were your baby. And you left him oh. for his birthday party. Ryan Hurd is here, everybody. He's I knew you didn't have. How are you? How are you supposed to? Ryan's reading the sign that's meant for me. Go ahead and read it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says, thank God for Caitlin because she corrected me. I don't have a, I do not have a podcast. I don't have the energy Look at to this. do it. But, uh, Look at this. Boom. Joe's sister, 1987. I do not have a podcast. Thank you for saying it's, my voice is soothing, but, uh, I don't, I don't really have the, uh, the stamina to, to do that. I, I like, I write songs every day. That's kind of my, my daily grind. You're so, up. um, here's a question for you. Someone on Twitch said, how did, how did you and I become friends? How did we become friends? We met at the CMT Awards at uh, Bridgestone, and I actually had was reading your book, and you walked, and it was right when the Dirks and Marin song came out, and you walked up to me and said, "I like that song that Dirks and Marin recorded. I know you wrote it. My name's Bobby." And I said, "I'm Ryan, and I just finished your book." And so then, you know, I think we just traded numbers and started texting after that. So smash cut. Yeah, you you're dropping your dog off. Yeah, so you, your dog and my dog are brothers. Yeah, half brothers, huh? That's what they say. Yeah, it's your move, by the way. We gotta okay. have a winner here. Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the people, uh-oh. That might be, oh, this might be it. I, I mean, saw your golf swing. It's not very. No, no, here's the thing. Ryan is always saying, hey, let's, let's play golf. And I don't wanna play with somebody who's really good. And I saw your, on Instagram, your golf swing, and you're, you're too good. You're but too who, good. Would ever, who would ever post a bad golf swing? That's, you, gonna, that's gonna end the game. It is? Has to. I feel like. But, uh -uh. 
I'm committed though, huh? Yeah, I think at this point you can either you can try to put it back, but I don't know if you're gonna. I'm not a good golfer. I'm actually a, a 14 handicap, I believe, right now. Stay. Um, but I like playing Stay. scrambles, and I post the really good shots to Instagram, like when you just crush one. Yeah. Oh, this is. You think it's gonna, but, is this gonna stay up? No, it's, I don't think it. I think the physics are against you, but. But that was. I haven't played Jenga. I think in like ten years, so that was a blast. Oh, you twenty bucks. You come for the. <laughs> you come for the thrilling action. I owe you twenty on, bucks. On time with Bobby Bones. He has to look at the sign. On, There's on, a lot of shows, man. He's like a lot of shows. On time with Ty Bentley. <laughs> I, I know. I, <laughs> no. 